to skate on his rink again this winter. I can't wait to try out the rides at the new snow park. We had a great holiday at Grandpa's, huh? Oh, remember? Dolly and I were very afraid of that big beast. Hey, it's not nice to call Grumps a beast. <laughs> <laughs> not Grumps. I mean the enormous ice monster we dug up. <laughs> We'd stop after the 17th run. Come on, one more and then we'll go home, promise. Mm. I said no. <laughs> Why do I always have to be Mr. Nice Guy? Wait for me. It was five times the size of Grumps. Huh? Hmm? A rabbitosaurus. They were five times as ferocious, too. <laughs> Not like this. <laughs> Come and meet our long lost cousin. Yeah. He's ugly looking. Grandpa, let's look for the rest of him. There's got to be an entire skeleton buried under the snow. This could be the scientific discovery of the century. Even though you're an expert, you'll need the guidance of an archaeologist. And we'll need permission from the landowner to dig. Uh -huh. It's complicated. Why don't we ask Professor Roberts, your old teacher, for his help? Okay! That's a great idea! I'll send him a letter right now! Get dressed, Poppy. Everyone is outside playing and you're still in your pajamas. I'm waiting to hear from Professor Roberts. It's taking Herman a long time to come back. If I were you, I'd pull my nose out of that book and take a oh. look out the window. Oh, wow! He's here! Professor Roberts is here! Well... I must say, Poppy, I'm impressed. There's no doubt this bone belongs to a rabbitosaurus. Hooray! Well done. Yeah! Grandpa, that's wonderful. Now we can dig for the rest of the skeleton, right? If the landowner refuses to give us permission to dig, I can get a special permit, but that could take some time. Well, I know him. He's the son of an old friend, but he's going to start construction of a snow park on that site. Well, let's ask him before he starts working. Wow! What about that one? Um, what does it do? Well, These are big machines. May I ride with you? Um, Excuse me, sir. Dolly would like to ride on the big tractor, too. You do understand an archaeological finding such as this could be scientifically important. The only way we'll know is if we dig. So, what do you say? Will you be giving us your permission? Oh, wow! Finding a prehistoric creature on my land? Great! Good publicity! I might even build a Rabbitosaurus ride. Kids would love it. Terrific. Thanks, Mr. Borage. Ah, uh, a good turn for the advancement of science. And don't worry, with Grubs helping out with the digging, it won't take very long. Grubs can surely help, but the big diggers are available at your disposal. All right? Yippee! Yeah, 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 yeah. Let the dig begin! Clear the snow, scoop it this way. Keep going. Good. Now start drilling 
so we can see what's down there. Keep it up, folks. Scoop and clear. That's right. Now, rope off the leg in the crate so we don't miss anything. I'll be talking to the media tomorrow. They're anxious to get photos and find out more about the dig. That means it's another early start for us tomorrow. Oh, I'm sore. Digging for bones is hard work. We've been digging for four whole days. This isn't much of a vacation. Can't we stop and rest for one day? Are you nuts? This is no time to stop. We found nearly all the Rabbitosaurus bones. We have to dig deeper. There might even be samples of other animals down there under the snow. Oh, no. My research is about the Rabbitosaurus. Nothing else. Your research? I thought it was our research. Of course it is, young man. Believe me, you're my best assistant. Your assistant? Hmm. I know as much as you do about skeletons. Mm. Yum. Yeah, I'm hungry. <laughs> so, uh, how's the soup, uh, Professor? Um, I... I'd like to apologize about last night. I was way out of line. But I still think it's a good idea to keep digging. Be careful with that. I put that bone aside because... Oh. oh, look, Poppy, I've been involved on a lot of digs in my day. You've got to trust me. Come on, help me clean this jawbone, all right? All work and no play. We want a holiday. Our time for rest starts today. What's wrong? Is this a joke? No, we're sick and tired of working. Yeah, starting today, we want a break for carrots anytime we're hungry, a break for a nap after mealtime, as well as regular massages for our paws. Yes, because our paws are tired to the bone. I want a pink hard hat because this one isn't very pretty. What? You guys are such babies. This is the most important thing we've ever done, and you're letting me down? Well, too bad. Mm. We're on strike. There. I understand how they feel. This work isn't very rewarding. I suggest you make peace with them over a nice cup of hot cocoa. Let's go. I should have done the research on my own. I don't need help to dig, and I don't need some genius archaeologist telling me what to do. Yeah, alone. Me, myself, and I. <laughs> I can do it. That's all for today, folks. See you tomorrow. Can you show me how this machine works? Mm -hmm. I want to look under the ground right there. I'm positive I'll find more bones. I'll show you. It's easy. But I'm warning you, your sight will soon look like a slice of Swiss cheese. A little more to the right. Stand drilling. <laughs> Uh-oh. Well, maybe we hit a bone. Hope we didn't drill through it. Huh? Oh, it's... it's impossible. What? 
What is it? It's a Rabbitosaurus, and it's in one piece! That'll show Professor Roberts! I knew I'd find one! <laughs> of all my discoveries, this is certainly the most remarkable. A Rabbitosaurus skeleton so well preserved and practically intact is a rare find. Hey, I found it! What color was the Rabbitosaurus? Ah, uh, he typically had a thin, light coat which provided camouflage in the snow. No, he didn't! Mm -hmm. The Rabbitosaurus's fur is thick and dark. Come with me. You'll see for yourself. This is astounding. Terrifying, even. Be careful. If the ice melts, he'll wake up. Do you wonder if Grumps would be able to fight him? He's marvelous. It's tremendous. And you dug this up yourself. I told you not to. I'm glad I kept working. I might never have discovered it. On top of that, I'm also the one who found the first bone. I know you did, Poppy. That's not the issue. Even if it's your discovery, you're too young to handle this yourself. I don't think you know how dangerous... Oh, 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 what happened? Oh, Professor, are you all right? Oh, dear. Are you sure you want to leave now? It's getting kind of late. Oh, that's all right. The sooner I have my ankle tended to, the sooner I'll be back here to work. Besides, I think Poppy should spend a little time with his family. See you soon. <laughs> According to my instructions, the professor should be here. This is completely unacceptable. Ooh, things are heated in there. Poppy, you need an attitude adjustment. You have become most unpleasant. This discovery has gone straight to your head. Grandpa's right. There's no talking to you. Mr. Know-it-all, we're not your slaves. Yeah, you're not the boss of us, you know. You've been rude to the professor. Show him more respect and listen to him. He's absolutely correct. Continuing to dig on your own was senseless and very dangerous. Hmm. And you're no further ahead since he left. Oh, dear. If Professor Roberts isn't here, who should I give this letter to? <sighs> now, it's bedtime, everyone. Perhaps I'd best leave it with a neighbor. Ah, oh, poor Periwinkle. Did you have another nightmare, silly? The skeleton's still where we left it. I saw it and heard it. I wouldn't lie. Morning. What's the matter? You afraid to sleep upstairs with me? No, I'm not. The Rabbitosaurus is gone. I woke up early to get some pictures of it as the sun came up, but it was gone, disappeared. It's gone. He just flew away. We didn't see his back. Maybe he had wings and we didn't know it. Whoa! These planks of wood are broken. As though something heavy walked on them. Look at this pole. There's a chunk taken out of it. By something with huge claws. Did you see anything? No, I went down into the valley last night to take some workers home. The skeleton beast woke up and ran. The little one is right! I heard the beast running during the night! It was horrible! Others heard it, too! Oh, I heard it! The dig must stop immediately! We have to find the beast and bury him back underground! None of my children want to go outside anymore! Please, you folks aren't serious, I hope! If the professor were here, he would assure you that what you heard wasn't the prehistoric beast! He didn't wake up and run away! That's not possible! I don't need the professor to tell me that no Rabbitosaurus could have done this damage. It's the professor. I think the professor did all this to get even. Professor!
Mr. Roberts, he said he was going to the doctors. And besides, he doesn't do bad things. He's too nice. But the monster never comes out when he's around. Well, maybe the monster is a little shy? It's bedtime. I'm scared. <laughs> Stop, Mistletoe. You're scaring your little brother. Believe me, Dan. Lion. The only beast you're likely to hear tonight is Grumps and his snores. Don't be scared, Dandelion. We'll find whoever's doing this. Okay, Professor. Your little trick's gone on long enough. I was at the doctor's. I bumped into Herman, who'd come in because of his cold. What's going on? Shh, listen. Herman had a letter for me. It said that with the discovery of the skeleton, the dig site was now a protected site. What's going on? Shh, <laughs> listen. Well, since I wasn't here, he left the letter with a neighbor of yours. Avery Borage. Once I found out that the beast had awakened, I came back as quickly as I could. What's going on? Shush, listen. With the dig site under protection, Avery can say goodbye to his amusement park. He hid the Rabbitosaurus to make everyone think it had walked off on its own so that the dig would end. No. Avery? I always thought he was such a nice guy. But what about the chunk out of the pole? And the loud growls I heard. How'd he do that? What I want to know is where did he hide your Rabbitosaurus? <laughs> I think you mean... Our Rabbitosaurus. Mm -hmm. Let's show him we've got a few good tricks up our sleeves, too. Can't an old dog get any rest around here? Open the door, Borage. I'm begging you. I need your help. Hurry, follow me. Now, hold on. I don't work on weekends. There are baby Rabbitosauruses. They're awake and hungry. Huh? They're looking for their mother. The children huh? are safe at the chalet, but Grumps is going to get devoured. Please, come now. Huh? Oh, what the? Huh? Oh, what's going on here? <laughs> Keep your distance. Huh? They could jump you and pull you in. Oh, unbelievable. Tiny prehistoric animals? We've got to help Grumps. Hold this. Pull hard. Good. He's almost out. <laughs> well done, everyone. Oh, no. Please, no. Oh, help. Sorry, I can't. They'll stop when they see their mother. Why did the beast have to disappear? Uh, oh, stop! Okay, I know where she is. She's hidden under that tarp on that truck. Quick, go get her. I don't want to be eaten alive. Oh. Huh? What? Who are... What are you... Oh, I'm sorry. 
I'm sorry that I hid the creature and scared everyone. I really am. It's just that this snow park is my lifelong dream. That's all. I didn't want to stop my project because of yours. Sorry. No one's stopping you from building your snow park further away. The land next door is mine. Why don't we see if we can work something out? Wonderful. Where's your Rabbitosaurus disguise? I'd like you to meet Slalom. She's my mascot for opening day. Poor thing needed some fixing up. I didn't believe for a minute that the Rabbitosaurus had woken up. But those claw tracks, how'd you make them? Uh-huh. <laughs> oh. And the growls? The master and his student are working together for the advancement of science. The professor's wisdom, coupled with the student's youth, provide two indispensable elements to ensure that this archaeological dig, known as Rob Flower, becomes the dig of the century. Professor, I'm really sorry I let things go to my head. And I also want to thank you for teaching me so many things. We all learn and grow when we do new things, Poppy. I feel younger now, but then again, we're all young compared to him. Congratulations! Excellent! If you ever need help, don't hesitate to ask. I'm at your service, you two! Thank you, Avery, but we've got all the help we need! Uh -oh.